Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an update for the 100 Colourful Empties project pan that I'm doing. I haven't updated this in a while so I thought that I would go through all the items and show you progress lines, anything, basically showing you what I've managed to achieve over the past like five months. Five months I've been doing this project. Okay, so the first category was black. So the first 10 items were the Aribe Dry Texturizing Spray, which is this. When I first put it into this project, it weighed 42 grams. And I have yet to use this, so it still weighs 42 grams. I may go ahead and declutter this, to be honest, because I never use texturizing sprays, really. So yeah, thinking about decluttering this one. The next one was the Tresemme Heat Protecting Spray. And when I first had it in the project, it weighed 55 grams and last update it weighed 54 grams and today it weighs 53 grams. The next item was this. This is the Avon Super Shock Eyeliner and it's just in the shade black and I did mark this on a piece of paper and it doesn't look like there's been much progress since the last update to be honest but that might be because I was focusing on other things. So the fourth item was the Yes to Tomatoes Detoxifying Sheet Mask. I've yet to use this. The fifth item was the uh, Cowshed Cowpat Moisturizing Hand Cream. I've yet to use this. So it still weighs its original weight of 58 grams. The next item was the Ghost Perfume, which was at the top gold line, and now we are at the second gold line. The next item was this. This is the Superdrug Charcoal Tooth Whitener, and this is where we are on that one. It originally weighed 41 grams, and then at the last update it weighed 38 grams, and it still weighs 38 grams. The next item was the Lush Eggnog or Yognog Body Wash, I or Shower Gel, sorry. I finished that up, and there was also the Elf Lip Scrub, which I decluttered. So the last black item then is this. This is the Soap and Glory Split Happens Conditioning Styling Oil. And I don't know if you can see, but we are actually just below the line. Not so much that I need to draw a new line, but we are below the line. The next category was blue. So the first blue item was this. This is the Different Dimension Nail Polish in March 2018. And I've not used this to be honest, so we are still at the green, sorry, the gold line there. The next three items were some sheet masks. We have the Tony Moly Skin Purifying, and we have two of these coconut water from a Korean brand. I think the brand is OKK, but I'm sure about that. I haven't used any of these yet, but there were a ton of sheet masks in this project, which I have used, so we'll get to that when we get to it. The next item was the Avon Eye Pencil in a blue shade. I finished that up, and there was a dry shampoo, which I've also finished up. And then there was this foot spray, which is the Avon Beautiful Cooling Spray, and I have been using this. I was at the black line here and now we're at the gold line just below it and the next item was a toner which I have finished and the next one is a hair oil and it is this Moroccan oil treatment for hair and I've not used this so we're still at the gold line at the top and the last item was the first aid beauty ultra repair cream which I've also not touched so we are at the blue line the next category is orange, and orange so far has been the most used category, I think, maybe green, maybe. Um, but I have used quite a few items from this category. The first item was the Walls Solero Scented Nail Polish, which I've not touched yet, and the line is just at the top here. The next item was a L'Oreal Conditioner, like a leave-in conditioner. I finished that up. And there was a Soap and Glory Sheet Mask, which I used. There was a Radiance Sheet Mask, which I used from Tony Moly. The Warm Vanilla Sugar a Body Butter, I used. I finished that up, sorry. Then there was the Sweet Orange Bath Oil, or Essential Oil, whatever you want to use it for, I guess. And I've not used this, and I am still at the silver mark there. The next item was another hair oil. This one is a sun protectant hair oil thing. And I have used this a couple of times and we are just below the silver line and not to the point where we need to draw a new line, but to the point where I can see that I've been using it. So unfortunately you can't see through this orange packaging for me to show you, but you'll just have to trust me. The next item was a body butter and this is the Body Shop Body Butter in Pumpkin and I've not touched this. So it still weighs the original 222 grams. The next item was a conditioner, an actual conditioner from the same line as that L'Oreal leave-in conditioner and that one's also finished. 
And the last item was the Yuzu and Orange Blossom deodorant by Native. And this originally weighed 111 grams. At the last update, it was 88 grams, and now it is 55 grams. The next category is yellow, and the first item for yellow was the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Gel. We were at the black line down here, and now we are at the purple line. The next item was a couple of eyeshadows from the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey Palette, which is here, and the two eyeshadows that I picked were Honey, Bun Honey Bristle and Honey Buns, which is these two here, the peach and the yellow. I have used Honey Buns, but you can't really see any progress or pan or anything like that and honey buns I've not used yet. The next item was a body lotion from Corez. I used that up. The next item was a refreshing I'm orange even though it says I'm orange the packaging is yellow uh, from Tony Moly sheet mask so I've yet to use this one. The next item was a lip balm and it is this, this coconut and lime Burt's Bees lip balm and I have really not been using this. I forgot it was in this project to be honest, but that is where we are. As you can see, no real progress on that one. Okay, so the next item is this facial spray. This is the Revolution Caffeine Energizing Essence Spray with Citrus Extracts. We did start at the top gold line and now we're at this gold line here. The next item was a body butter. It's this Champneys body butter. It's kind of like a mini. It did originally weigh 59 grams and it still weighs 59 grams because I've not touched it. And there was a hand cream. This is the Avon Naturals Delightful Milk and Honey Hand Cream. I've not touched this either. And the last yellow item is a pocket back and it is the lemon twist pocket back from Primark. I'm just marking it there. I've lost the lid now. And that is where we are. We did start at this black line up here and now we are halfway done at the gold line there. And that's all the yellow items. So for the pink items then, the first item was this and this is the Lacquer & Co um, Cheeky Lip Lip Pencil in Humble Brag. This is how much we have left. I haven't touched this so I won't even bother putting it up against the paper because I it's bright pink, like bright pink so it's probably only good for spring and summer so I will get more use out of it now but during the winter it's not a great shade so that's why I haven't touched it up until now. The same goes for this this is the Evan Decay Revolution lipstick in the shade Obsessed but I will go ahead and put this against the paper once I can clear a space on my desk um, because I have had some use out of this and I want to just check the progress yeah there's a bunch of progress on this because I have used it a couple of times with a lip liner underneath it so to darken it up a little bit but I love this lipstick so that is where we are now. The next item in the pink category was the colour tattoo from Maybelline if I can find it on my desk. My desk is, you can't see it but it's a bomb site now because I have all 100 items laid out on my desk. Okay so this is what it looks like now it's pretty much almost done. So when I weigh it, it's mostly glass that I'm weighing rather than product. But having said that, at the last update, this weighed 48 grams and it originally weighed 49 grams and it still weighs 48 grams, which as I said, is probably just because I'm weighing glass because the product definitely is getting down there. This is almost done. The next item is this. This is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Perfume. I've not made any progress because I only use use this when I'm going out somewhere nice. It's my favourite perfume so I am keeping it. I'm not just going to wear it around the house basically. The next item was a nail polish. This nail polish I wanted to use. I have not touched it yet because I've been focusing on other things so we are still at this black line at the top there if I can get my camera to focus. There we go. The next item was a sheet mask and that is this sheet mask. This is from Jinju Beauty. I've yet to use this. As I said, I have been using sheet masks from this project, but there were a ton in here. So some of them I've not used yet. The next one was the LOC lip pencil in Bohemian Rose. I've not touched this either. So I won't go ahead and mark this on the paper because there's been no progress. The next item was a Soap and Glory hand cream. And this I have made progress on. We were at the blue line 
line here and now we are like here where the bend is i've not i've yet to mark it but that is the progress that we've made is about i'd say one and a half centimeters worth but yeah and the next item was a body butter and this again is soap and glory but i've not touched this so this is still weighs its original weight which i never wrote down so i'll write it down now uh 70 grams i'll just write that down and the last item in the pink category was a pocket back. It was the Berry Lemonade pocket back from Bath and Body Works. I finished that up in a previous update. The green category, I had the Avocado and Manuka Honey Conditioning Spray. This I've emptied out because as you can see, the top here is broken and I can't spray, well, I can spray it, but it also spills out at the same time. So I have transferred it to a different bottle, but I did mark this bottle before I transferred it so we could get an idea of progress. So at the start, we were at the black line at the top there, then the last update, we were at the blue line, and now we are down to this purple line, which is halfway through the avocado. I don't know if you can see it just there. I will keep this for empties value for when I finish it from the other bottle, but because it's in the other bottle, which is a stainless steel one, I won't be able to mark it from now on. I'll just only be able to tell you that it's done. But this is the only thing that I'm using right now to condition my hair after I shower. So it's probably, I mean, I use a conditioner, but like a leave-in product that I'm using. So it will probably, by the next update, it will be gone anyway. So that's that one. The next item was a Tony and Guy sea salt spray. I finished that up. Then there was the Fix Plus, which is just this cucumber scented Fix Plus. I've not used this really. I have used it once or twice and it is just under the black line, but nowhere near any progress lines, basically. Unfortunately, it will just look like one big black line if I try and mark it again. But yes, that's that one. The next one was a nutrition sheet mask from Tony Moly. I finished that up. And a skin soothing mask from Tony Moly. I finished that up. I did also have an Avon foot cream. I finished that up. And the next item on the list is this. This is the um, super drug body lotion in coconut and sweet lime. And I've not touched this, so we're still at the starting blue mark. The next item is this. This is the Naturally Radiant by Superdrug Brightening Hot Cloth Cleanser. And we are at the blue line there. Again, I've not touched this yet because I've been focusing on other things. The next item is the Champneys Good As New Harmonious Hands Restoring Hand Cream. Again, this is not something that I have touched yet. And the last green item is this. This is the Naturally Radiant Brightening Day Cream. I have used this a couple of times, not that you'd be able to tell from in here, and I'm just going to wear it. But you can tell in weight. So originally it was 90 grams, and I've just weighed it now, and it is 89 grams. So even though it's just one gram, I'm really happy, because by looking at the top of it, you'd be like, you've not used that, but actually I have. So. Let me write that down before I forget. The next category is purple, and the first purple item was this Avon Planet Spa Lavender Hand Cream. I've not touched this, so we're still at this line up here. The next item was the Urban Decay Eyeliner in Delirious, which I finished. The next item is another one of these scented polishes. This is in Starship 4, and again, I've not touched this, so we are at the top mark here. The next item on the list is this. This is the Generation Clay Brighten purple clay mask. Again, I've not touched this, so it still weighs 114 grams. The next item was the Revolution Superfruit Extract. I've used that up. And then there was a body butter. This is the Champneys Relaxing Body Souffle. I've not touched this, so it still weighs 408 grams. The next item on the list was a nail polish thinner, which I have finished. And the item after that was this. This is the Revolution Superfruit Replenishing Essence Spray. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, I'll try and hold it still, but I am just under the black line up here. Just under, like it meets flush with the bottom of the line. So hopefully next time I will be showing some progress. And the last item was a lipstick and it is this Maybelline lipstick. This is a color sensational lipstick. I didn't mark the lipstick but it is this lipstick in sugar plum this is how much we have left this is in a different project as well in my lip service project but there's no point in measuring it to that line because i rolled this in late so you would still not have any idea of progress from the original update i'll do it from today so that we can see from later in the year where i've gotten to and the last sorry that wasn't the last item the last item was this this is the nail medic rejuvenator and it's just like a nail and cuticle ointment treatment serum type thing and we were at the 
black line and then we were to the blue line and now we are at the gold line. The next category is white and for that we had the Mixer Seeker Repair Balm. We are still at the blue line for this one. I've not touched this yet. Sorry, let me get my notebook in front of me so I'm not looking around. We had a, a eye makeup remover from the body shop. I finished that up. We have an eye cream, which is this eye cream, the Instant Plump Eye Cream from Honest Beauty. Originally it weighed 19 grams and now it weighs 18 grams. We have this root spray. This is the conditioning styling spray. I've not touched this, so we're still at this black line here. And we had the roots. This is the heat protection spray. Again, I've not touched, so we're at the black line here. The next item was a day cream, and it is this day cream here, and we are still at the blue line because I've been focusing on the Clinique one. The next item was this Revolution Skincare Quinoa Night Peel Serum, and we did originally start at the top blue line. And then last time we were at the second blue line, and we are still at the second blue line. I've not used this since then. And we have this Your Good Skin Purifying Treatment Mask, and we are at the blue line here. I've not used this yet, but something that I have been using is also on the list. This is the Your Good Skin Comforting Gel Cleanser, and this is all gross and messy, but that is all I have left. So hopefully this will be done by the next update. I've now got gross on me. And the last white item was this. This is the Waterman's Condition Me Replenishing and Nourishing Conditioner. We started at the blue line up here, then we got down to this blue line. Then I used it a bunch to turn it upside down, so I've marked on the back to, know, to denote that these are the markings from it standing this way up, and we are at the gold line here. And the last category is silver. No, sorry, there's two more categories. There's silver and then there's red. So for silver, we had this. This is the Jean Frieda Frizz Ease Forever Smooth Anti-Frizz Primer. And we were at the blue line there and now we're at the purple line just below it. The next item was a hand cream. It is this Polar hand cream. I've not touched this, so that's still brand new. And it weighs 31 grams. The next item was some facial wipes. I used those up. There was this body lotion. This is the Avon Perceive Dew body lotion. And I picked this because the cap is silver and the bottom of the thing is silver. And we are at the blue line there. Then there was the e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask. I've not touched this, so it still weighs 147 grams. Then there was a Garnier sheet mask. I used that up. There was a body butter, which I've not got in my bag and I'm not sure about. So I'll need to go back and check my old videos and figure that one out. And there was three eyeshadows which are the moon dust eyeshadows from over decay i've not touched these so they're all their original weights and packaging and no dips or anything because i've not touched them so that's those and the last category is red the first item in the red category is the avon glycerin hand and nail cream and this originally weighed 110 grams and it still weighs 110 grams then there was the revolution beauty hyaluronic acid hydrating essence spray and we are still at the blue line there that is where we started i've not used this yet um we had a foot cream from clarins i used that up and we had the super drug body lotion i used that up and we had a nail polish it is the avon magic effects mineral crush nail polish i've not touched this so we are still at the top of the bottle just around here we have the liquid lipstick meet matt hughes liquid lipstick in loyal i've not touched this so it still weighs seven grams we had a lip balm which i never marked which i know because i've looked at the sheet and i realized already that i haven't marked it but this was brand new when i started so it was the length of the tube and this is where we are now so I'm about halfway done with this. I will go ahead and mark it today like the other one and hopefully next time we will be able to see some progress rather than estimating progress. The next item was this. This is the PS lip liner in red. I've not touched this so I won't even mark it against the paper. This is another category where it says body lotion and I have no idea what I was talking about so again I will have to go and find that. And the last item in the red category was the Cortisone 10 Cortisone Cream. I have used this once. I have very sunburnt feet right now, so I've been using this. So hopefully that will make it so that it gets used up. Basically what happened with this one is it had red in it and I had nothing else red in my cupboard, so it went in. If I never use it because it's medical and I there's very limited number of times that I'm going to use this, then that's fine. I'm not gonna complain. It may be the one remaining 99th item that I don't finish, like that I don't finish, but 
it is what it is. I'm not gonna be mad at it if I don't, basically, because it's a medicated thing and I'm not gonna like overuse it. So what I'll do is I will go away and figure out these body lotions and body butter from the other categories and they will be in the next update as well as marking on the paper those lines that I needed to mark. But all in all, that is my update for the 100 Colourful Empties. It is a long one, so I'm really sorry about that. I, As I've been filming, I've had to restart the camera like three times now. So I know it's been at least half an hour since I started this. I'll probably edit some down, but it's probably still going to be long anyway. But thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this update. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye.